Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. First things first, let's show off the vest that I knitted. Ta-da! Alright, today we're going to be talking about another synastry aspect. What happens when you or your partner's Jupiter comes into contact with you or your partner's Venus. It doesn't have to be your partner, it could be like someone in your family, it could be a friend of yours. I think most of us are on here looking at what happens in our partnerships, but, um, you know, anytime two people come together and their auras interact, you can assume that a synastry chart could be made for it. So, what a synastry chart looks like is one person's birth chart on top of another person's. Today I'm talking about the conjunction between Jupiter and Venus, which means that they're within I like to say eight degree points of each other. So pretty much like right on top of each other. Venus, most of us know, is our love nature. It's the way that we like to be loved. It's what we find beautiful, what we find pleasant, what we, what makes us feel feminine and makes us feel beautiful. Um... It has to do with money sometimes, what you spend your money on. It also just has to do with like your taste, like what you like to wear, what you like to eat. Um, and it'll also dictate what you find beautiful in another person. So when Jupiter is in contact with this, well, Jupiter is a planet that represents expansion and abundance. It's the largest planet in the solar system. It's co-ruled by Sagittarius and Pisces, so it's very generous, it's very, um, it's optimistic, um, it's like, it value, it values philosophy and overall like a good-natured feeling. Um, so when these two come into contact with each other, one could kind of derive that a person's love nature is being brought into it's being expanded upon um and then like when the two of you are together feeling it both of you are going to feel the same effect more or less it doesn't matter really who's jupiter and who's venus um it's just kind of being like really good vibes everyone between the two of you is like you guys want to go out to eat together. You guys want to spend your money on this. You don't want to work too hard. You just kind of want to go lay in bed and laugh and watch TV and um, all the things that are like pleasant in relationships are being expanded upon. So it can be overindulgent, but if there's other aspects between the two of y'all that bring about balance in these ways like you know positive Saturn placements um it really will be beneficial to a relationship or a partnership um whatever it is that the two of y'all like you're gonna want to do a lot and you're gonna feel really pleasant in each other's company and probably spend a lot of time in indulgent behaviors which I think I don't think that, I think we over-criticize that. We live in a kind of cold world, so to be able to really enjoy and bring abundance into the parts of life that are sweet, um, I'm all for it. So I love this placement. Um, it's not going to bring like immediate like sexual attraction, although it can benefit those areas. Um, it just depends on what else is going on in the chart, but like if this does exist just in a friendship or a family relationship, it's really positive as well because the two of you are just going to get along. You're going to see the best in each other's way of doing things. Um, you're going to like lift each other up. So yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily need to exist or be considered sexual by any means or attraction oriented but if there is the attraction there then it's just gonna la lather on the good vibes 
So yeah, that's about all I have to say about that one. And I'll see you all in the next one.